Good morning, crafty friends. I hope everyone's doing well today. I am coming on with a quick project share. This is a Halloween banner that I just completed. I'm really proud of it. I thought it turned out really cute. Um, some of the items that I used were some of these cute little crystals I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Some seam binding tape that I purchased from the um, My Scrap Cabin. And let's see, this color is lavender and this is black. And those are, uh, her shop is on Etsy. I also used the Memento banner die. That's how I uh, cut out my little banner shapes. And I ran those through my Gemini. I'm sorry, my Gemini Junior. Some Baker's Twine that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And then I have a few um, dies that I use, different dies. And these cute little wood die stickers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I used the little um, fence and the set, this I purchased, um, I've had it for forever. It's made by Sizzix. Um, I also used a little bit of pom-pom trim that I got off of AliExpress. And I found a quick, um, easy way to store these. If you wrap it around um, a, toilet, uh, <laughs> a toilet tissue roll and then put a little slice in the end, they're easy to uh, keep it keep it all nice and contained, nice and neat. And I just have a basket that I keep them in, all my different assorted colors in. Um, I used uh, some of the um, cut aparts from this Halloween die cut set. Uh, this is made for, uh, by Die Cuts with a View. I have a few of those that I used. I also used um, another, my cardstock came from the Die Cuts with a View, which is Brew Paper Pack. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit of a glare there. All right, well, let's get on with the share. This is the first uh, banner part. I used my skeleton and put a little bit of bling in the eyes. Here's the fence that I was showing you. Um, that comes in the Sizzix set. These are the little wood uh, die stickers from the Dollar Tree. What I did was I um, colored them with my Copic marker, went back with a little glass, glossy accents, <laughs> and then um, some of my glow-in-the-dark glitter glue just kind of went around the edges with it. And then there's my P. I used uh, the rosettes that I used were my uh, Tim Holtz. And also I used, I believe it was Sizzix. Let's see. Yes, I used my uh, the Sizzix Thinlets rosette set. And I used the Sizzix Thinlets Party Fan. Um, and I did the, the small ones. These are the two rosettes that I used. Um, and then I had uh, purchased some washi tape from Hobby Lobby. And I just went around the little edges and put that on there. And then you'll see too, I did the pom-pom trim. And my spiders, I purchased those at the Dollar Tree. All right, and then our next letter. And this is the O. This is some of the cut aparts that were in my um, paper pack from Die Cuts with a View. And the little spider, I cut him out. And there's another rosette. And I purchased some um, of these little feathers. They come in a pack. I purchased those at uh, Hobby Lobby as well. And I went back with a little bit of a 
glow in the dark glitter glue. And then there's the next one. Now, and you'll see too on all of these, um, I did, I sewed all around the borders. I went all around the edges with the sewing machine and sewed my pom pom trim on. But um, I used my cutter and I cut out all these little small circles and just stuck them, uh, glued them on here with some of my Barely Arts glue. And that reinforced it so it doesn't, you know, come apart very easily. And the twine can slide through. And this is the next one. McKay. And the little stars, they were in my paper pack. And I thought this really turned out really cute. I can't wait to get it hung up. And I'll take some pictures for you all. I'm going with the purple and black theme this year, if you can't tell. <laughs> and eat, drink, and be scary. I thought this would be cute because I'm going to hang this in my dining area. <laughs> and there's the little rosette and flower. All right, you guys, I just thought I'd come on and share this with you all. If you like uh, what you see, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, um, if you would like to continue to get notifications from me, click the little bell. Just click on that little bell and you'll continue to get notifications as I put out new content. All right, I hope everyone has a blessed day. Thank you for watching.